just rolling in. Hello again, guys. Back with more milling stuff. A um, couple different tricks to show you today, other than what we did the other day. Uh, you guys notice I was doing things a little bit the hard way. Um, but I finally uh, got off my ass and I rigged up one of my chain falls. It's a lot easier to turn the log with the chain fall. You wrap a, a strap around it and then you, you hoist it up and it turns it. I'll show you guys how we do it. It's also a lot easier for getting the thing square. I'm not screwing around with the jack and all that good stuff. But uh, anyhow, stay tuned. We're going to try to mill as much as we possibly can today. I've got... Uh, Oh, I think I've got seven logs left in that pile to mill. I've got two sitting over there stacked. I've already milled one this morning. I have the second one of the day on the mill. It's not noon yet, so that's kind of handy. So uh, we'll see how much we can get done. I will see you guys on the other side of it. Guys, I told you at the beginning we're going to have a different way here of turning our logs, something that's a little bit easier on the body. Now usually I do this with the uh, I do it with a tractor and I could drive the tractor up to the sawmill the way I used to have it set up on here. But I can't really do that where it's sitting now. And the last few logs I've milled, I turned them all by hand with a PV, and that's all right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that if that's what you have. You know, you got to do what you got to do, but it is awful hard on your body. And there's enough heavy lifting on this project, I don't really need to be uh, making problems for my body that I don't need. I had to change into some lighter clothes. It was nasty out here today. I'm not a big fan of the heat. So when you wrap this strap around here, you got to wrap it around itself. If you don't wrap it around itself when you come down, can you see it right there? If you don't wrap it around itself, the strap's just going to slip right off, and you only hook one end. And then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to crank this up on a set of chain falls here. It's going to turn the log right over. Generally, when I'm cutting, the first thing I do, I'll turn it 90 degrees. This one, I'm not going to do that because I, uh, hold on, truck driving by. Nice truck, too. Sucker for those old Fords. Um, I'm going to turn this one all the way over, 180 degrees, because it's going to be easier for me to get 10 inch wide boards off of here for floorboards for the subfloor, rather than for me after the fact. I've got a bunch of them, I'm going to have to cut one or two edges off of them, so I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier on myself. But uh, all we do is crank it up.
got a knot in our chain. And over here, just got a rope strung, uh, set up. Like dropping the chain on your foot. All right, so that's it. We're going to keep milling. guys so we milled five logs today number six is on the sawmill right now I'm probably gonna mill it once the camera shut off for the night we ended up with five uh, 10 by 10 by 16 foot long top plates some uh, 4 by 6s 16 foot long we have 26 uh, 1 by 10 floorboards for the subfloor for the second floor and we have one 2 by 8 rafter 16 feet long so it was a good day of milling 
not quite over yet. It's only about 8.30 here. I got a few hours left in me yet, but uh, and you see here, I don't know if you guys could tell, but uh, the bucket's back on the tractor. I ended up taking the contraption off. We have a bunch of hay bales we have to move up the road, so it's good to have a tractor on each end unloading wagons. But uh, so that means that I'm going to be working on the barn for a week or two with no tractor. It ought to be interesting, but I think you guys are going to like uh, what I have planned for wrestling these beams around or without killing myself. So it's going to uh, going to involve some A-frames and chain falls. And there's going to be a trap door going in the second floor. And when we uh, continue on, now this week I'm probably going to start putting more floorboards up above just so I can get more across. And then we're going to start cutting uh, cutting top plate joinery. Then once I get the tractor back, we'll finish milling up what we have out there, and then I've got to go cut more. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, chain fall worked out nice. Don't know if you guys caught that, but that worked out really well. Saved me a lot on my back, so that's always a good thing. But anyhow, if you guys uh, been enjoying the channel and all that good stuff, you can follow along on Instagram at uh, the Tradesman Channel 2017, all one word if you want. Or we do have a Facebook group that's newly started up with a few members trickling in. Uh, it's the Tradesman Channel, all one word at Facebook in the public group section. So anyhow, you guys have a good evening and thank you for watching.